It seems like Johnny Depp can't get a break right now, as his fans just got more bad news when the casting for his former role as Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts franchise was announced. And I got all the details coming up for you right now on IO. So as we covered a few weeks back, because Johnny Depp lost the libel suit against the Sun, as they called him a wife beater, he was then asked to walk away from his role as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts. And now the studio has announced that actor Mads Mikkelsen has officially been cast as Grindelwald, replacing Johnny Depp. Depp played the Dark Wizard in the first two installments of J.K. Rowling's series, including The Crimes of Grindelwald. But even though he had already filmed one scene for the third installment, they still want to distance themselves from the actor in light of his legal battle. And since the lawsuits do not look to be in his favor, this could mean the end of his acting career as we know it if the truth of the matter does not come to light. After Depp announced on his Instagram that he would be leaving the series, Mickelson was quickly rumored for the role. But Mickelson previously said he hadn't been contacted about the role and he was quote, waiting for that phone call. And we can assume that the call came pretty soon because the casting has been made official weeks after. And since the set has already been delayed due to COVID, the studio acted quickly to meet their summer of 2022 release date. Mickelson is known for other villainous roles like playing the James Bond villain in Daniel Craig's first Bond movie, Casino Royale, as well as Hannibal Lecter in the NBC television series Hannibal. Depp's role was previously played by Colin Farrell in 2016, Where to Find Them, under a guise. So since Johnny was ousted, many fans expected him to be the replacement. But this didn't end up happening because Farrell is currently playing the Penguin on the Batman set at the same time as Fantastic Beasts continues to film. Usually he would have been able to go back and forth and play both, but because of COVID, he is forced to stay on the same set. For a refresher on this lawsuit with The Sun, Depp was suing The Sun for calling him a wife beater to Amber Heard. Heard, The Sun's star witness, alleged that Depp physically abused her. Depp denied the allegations. But the judge, Andrew Nichol, came to the conclusion that Depp's lawsuit could not succeed because the Sun's lawyers had proved what the newspaper reported was, quote, substantially true. But considering how this has affected his career so far and the long-term implications of the ruling, he will of course be appealing it. And honestly, this news is more than a little nerve-wracking for Johnny Depp fans, as if these legal battles keep being in the favor of Amber Heard, this could impact his career in the long term, as it would be difficult for studios to hire someone on who is being accused of such a horrible thing and is not able to prove otherwise in a court of law. So that's really all for the story today. Let me know what you're thinking about it down below. I'm honestly just really sad for Johnny and I hope he gets some wins in his legal cases really soon. But before I head out of here, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my last video on Johnny Depp accepting an award from behind bars. One user said, still can't believe Johnny didn't win the case even when he had evidence of his innocence. It's really just wild that they're not taking all sides into consideration. It's, you know, I don't know how it worked. I don't know what didn't come out to the public, but it's it's very strange. Then Fry Bread Wisdom said, Johnny's a funny guy with a funny sense of humor. He's of course innocent of being physical with anyone, justice for Johnny. I couldn't agree more. I mean, at least she deserves way more blame than she's been getting at the very least. Um, it's just a really confusing situation. Then Elisa Rivas said, I see the symbolism. People can try to make him appear guilty, barred in jail, but in the end, you can't keep a good man down. He still wins a trophy and so much love and support. Good sense of comedy while stating a truth in just one image. I love Johnny. Yeah, at first I was like, what does this all mean? But then I was reading about it and I was like, oh, that does make sense, you know? He is a... He's a clever guy. Then Carrie Baxter said, the judge who ruled against Johnny Depp is mates of mates to Amber Turk. So I heard this uh, in the comments of that video. How can that be a thing? If you're a judge, shouldn't you be revoking yourself or just taken off the case because of you know a connection like that, a potential bias? That is so awful to me. And if that is true, I hope that could easily be proven in a court of law for Johnny to be able to get a retrial. Uh, because that, that sounds like a mistrial. That sounds completely flawed to me if that is true. All right, everyone, that is all for the video today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you liked and you wanna see more. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.